I am of course aware that in the recent months and in recent days, there have been some operational losses in the northern part of Borno State, particularly in Jili, Arege, and Matele. I know that you are doing your best to reverse this trend, and I want to assure you that no effort will be spared in providing the necessary support you require to complete the task. We remain committed to ending the crisis in the Northeast and making the entire area safe for all. I urge you all to keep up the good work. I am also painfully aware that some gallant officers and soldiers have paid the supreme price in the cause of these anti-terrorist operations. While we remember them and mourn their loved ones, I must also convey the deep gratitude and the government and people of Nigeria to the late soldiers and their families for their heroic sacrifices. Our thoughts and prayers are also with all other victims of Boko Haram's atrocities and their families. I will be visiting some of our injured troops in hospitals and also talk to others at their bases to assure them of our continued support. It is a must-win war. I want to encourage our troops not to be distracted by whatever speculations, but to remain focused and committed to the task of eliminating Boko Haram from the face of the earth. Tima, on his part, also pledged his administration's commitment to empowering and encouraging the civilian joint task force as they complement the efforts of the army in the fight against the insurgents. De la Cream Assembly here will cross pollinate your ideas and come up with robust platforms of addressing our core challenges. The problems of Boko Haram are complex, composite, and interwoven. And for us to solve the problem, there is a need for a holistic approach encompassing the security, the political, and the military. Beneath the mayhem of Boko Haram, Your Excellency, Underneath the nihilism lies the underlying cause, which is extreme poverty. There is an incestuous relationship between economy, ecology, and climate change in the Lake Chad region. I want to commend you, Your Excellency, for addressing the challenges of the Lake Chad, especially over the issue of the recharging of the Lake Chad, which has shrunk from a size of 25,000 square kilometers to less than 2,000 square kilometers now. On our own part, Your Excellency, I want to assure you that we'll play our own part of the budget. We'll support the civilian JTF. We'll support in fighting poverty. And the enabler, a precursor, and a major catalyst for development is education. We are investing massively, crazily, on education. Well, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, explained that the conference will focus on how to strengthen strategies towards the protection of the nation's democracy. He also revealed that the Army will launch Operation Safe Conduct ahead of the 2019 general elections to ensure that the country's democratic structure is not threatened during the polls. It is my belief that the Nigerian army must start to plan and strategize on how to end the operations in the Northeast. To this end, I have directed for a change from a wholly defensive posture to one where we defend in numbers and conduct offensive operations in smaller packets to simultaneously in different fronts. 
I must also add that no army can ever have enough equipment to conduct its operations. Hence, it is incumbent on all commanders and senior leaders of the Nigerian army to recognize that we are involved in asymmetric warfare, which calls for dynamism and flexibility if we are to succeed with minimal casualties. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to inform you that over the four quarters of the year 2018, the Nigerian army remains steadfast in the discharge of its constitutional responsibilities, as well as providing aid to civil authority. The nation's territorial integrity, particularly along our land borders, has not been breached as we continually maintain a posture to defend Nigeria's territorial rights and interests. Security relations with our neighbors, Benin, Cameroon, Chad, and Niger Republic, has remained relative, relatively calm except for increased trafficking of small arms and light weapons across the borders, among other cross-border criminalities. Internally, there has been recurring violence in some sections of the country, which constitute security threats to Nigeria's democracy and indeed existence. The causes for various crises in the country are often ideological, economic, political, religious, as well as ethnic, among many other reasons. These socio-political and socio-economic issues have direct bearing. A high point of the opening ceremony was the presentation of a photo album to the president detailing the activities of the army at the battlefield in Borono State.